Hi everyone, we're the Traveling Couple WL. We are going to Margaret River. After the regional borders open, we booked this trip. Our first stop is Basulton. It's under two and a half hours drive from Perth, or 222 kilometers. We'll be heading to the jetty. The jetty is one of the main attractions in Basulton. At the end of the jetty is the underwater observatory. There are cafes, bars and restaurants along the waterfront. You will need to purchase a ticket for the jetty. A day pass ticket is $4 for adults. Kids under 17 are free. Annual passes are also available. $50 for adults and $25 for pensioners. Proceeds of the tickets goes towards the restoration of the jetty. You could also take a ride on a train. It's $14 for adults and $8.50 for kids 3 to 17 years. There's also a family pass of 2 adults and 2 kids for $38. The jetty is 1.8 kilometers long. It will take you approximately 25 minutes to walk to the end. The Anna Water Observatory is right at the end of the jetty. Unfortunately, it was closed. After all that walking, it's time to have some lunch. Salt Burger is just beside the jetty. We had a double cheeseburger and a pulled pork burger. It's time to head to our accommodation. From the Bustleton Jetty, it's about a 30 minute drive or 33 kilometers to Eight Widows Retreat. Because of COVID, we did not have to go to the reception to check in. We received an email with instructions on how to check in and the chalet number. At the front of the chalet, there was a lock box which we were given a code which held the key. We were allocated to chalet number 20. We made our booking through Agoda. It's a one bedroom chalet with no breakfast included. Wi Fi was included, but sometimes the connection was very poor. It was very clean and some amenities were provided. It's a self contained apartment. There are no cafes or restaurants near the retreat. The closest town is Margaret River, which is about 20 minutes away. This is the reception area for checking in. Beside it is a function room overlooking the lake. You can take a walk around the lake. There's also a bush trail near the chalets. Or you can just sit and relax at the gazebo and enjoy the view. After checking in, we decide to head out to the nature spa. Nature Spa is about 80 minutes drive from the chalets. It's about 70 minutes from Dunspra. If you're here during the warmer months, you can take a dip in the spa pool. If you love hiking, you can do the Cape to Cape trek. We headed to Dunspa to get some dinner. Blue Manor is 60 minutes from Nature Spa. Unfortunately, they didn't have any tables available. Due to the limited seatings with COVID, we decided to take away a prawn stuffed chicken wing and a Blue Manor linguine. I recommend that you try this restaurant if you get a chance. The next day, we decided to head into Margaret River. There is an IGA if you need to do some groceries. We did a quick stop for some groceries before heading to the berry farm. The berry farm is about a 15 minutes drive from Margaret River. They are open every day from 10 to 4 p.m. Bookings were essential and lucky for us, we had a booking at 10 o'clock. 
They have a breakfast and lunch menu. You can take a walk around the gardens. There's a giant drought checkerboard game and a playground for the kids. Opposite the cafe is also a shop which sells fortified wines and wines. They also offer wine tastings. On the way back to the chalets is Kuramam. It's a quaint little town with cows and calves displayed around the streets. We didn't have time to stop to check out the town. We needed to get back to the chalets before the storm hit. After arriving back at the chalet, we received a surprise gift from family. For the whole afternoon, it's been raining and very windy. Luckily, we purchased some food to cook. We heard that in some areas, there was no electricity. The next day, I had a booking made at Aramia. It's about a 15 minutes drive from the chalets. It's about 19 minutes from Dunsbra. Bookings are essential as they have limited sittings. After the storm hit yesterday, most restaurants were actually closed. Lucky Arima has its own generator. They also sell wines and have wine tastings. They are open from Thursdays to Mondays for lunch. They offer a four course set menu with optional wine pairing. Thanks to Chef Evan Hater for such a wonderful meal. After lunch, we headed back to the chalet as most places were closed. Before leaving for Perth, we thought we'd try our luck and see if any shops are open. The first place we stopped by was Vass Virgin, but unfortunately, it wasn't open. The next place we tried was Cape Lavender. Yes, they were open. It's a lavender themed shop. You will have to try the scones when you're here. It's soft and fluffy and served with a homemade jam. The teas that they serve are also sold in the shop. Our three-day break has come to an end. It's time to head home and see if our house survives the storm. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to our channel.